host. Let's see. I got, I got a couple. Let's pictures see what you got. To a, what you got? Oh, of course you did. Line. You had to go. You had to go all graphic to one up us, Mister Producer. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's start off with something that you mes- mentioned actually, because I, I didn't put this in mind, but I thought it was a good point. Why do we have this gigantic organ that we only hear three times a game? Maybe yeah. Thomas, you see hear it more because you're right next to it. But that's how I will begin mine. With a little organ playing. You don't hear this enough. Not that kind of organ playing, though. <laughs> yeah, like we need to we need to hear like those old school organ you know mm-hmm. sounds that you'd hear in like you know NHL '96. Um, all right, so Tampa Bay Lightning, our favorite franchise, right? It's it's tough to find stuff that's wrong with them, but I'll tell you what. If you are not privileged like Thomas Schooley to be a season ticket holder, you better hope that you have a boatload of patience to get on that season ticket list. Um, Sure. You know what? You can roll the dice if you want to. You can go on Facebook. You can go on this group, the verified reseller ticket group. But if you do that, you are in danger of getting verbally and, and maybe physically abused by a doctor, <laughs> by a doctor who may or may not want you to get tickets <laughs> through that. So it's very tough these days to get tickets, whether you're in line as a season ticket holder or you're trying to get tickets any other way through doctors, verified sellers, anyone you're trying to. Um, yeah, a very uncomfortable virtual pat down you're going to get in that verified reseller group uh, to get verified. <laughs> but you can always go for the flex plan if you're still on that list. But you better hurry because <laughs> if you don't get on the t- those tickets right away, you're sitting in the worst seats available. And even if you do get a flex plan, you're going to be able to pick the Worst games that you can go to all season. Want to see the Colorado Avalanche? Ain't going to (laughs) happen. Want to see your Bolts play, um, I don't know, maybe the New York Rangers again this season? Not going to happen on a flex plan. But hey, if you're looking to see the Winnipeg Jets on a Monday night, the flex plan is for you. (laughs) All right. I'm going to... I'm going to get into some players. And by the way, I'm bringing up like some of my favorite players here. So uh, no one was safe here, but we have to start with old money bags. Miguel Sergachev. The team calls him sugar. You might money, remember money, from money, the, money. the doc talk videos, but after his eight year, not $9.5 million contract, $9.5 million a year. Doesn't sound so sweet. So Sergey. You better start scoring more. You better stop turning the puck over or that salary cap is going to start to hit a lot harder than Sam Bennett, Sam Bennett's punches like we saw last season. ABB. That's right. We remember this guy. It's his year again. This is the third year we've been saying that at least third year that we've been saying that the team even let him go. Had him come back, and we still can't stop believing in this kid. Um, but I'll tell you what, if he can't cut it this year, we got to cut ties with him completely, but at least we'll know that ABB stands for always been bad. 7 p.m. games. How am I the only one that brought this up? Stash lives up in Pasco I County. Left I left this one for you. I live in Tarpon Springs. I work a lot of the times till six o'clock at night. How the hell am I supposed to get to Amelie Arena for a 7 p.m. puck drop? It's, it's not possible. It's not no. possible. And by the way, when I do get there, why do we all have to go in the same entrance of the same staircase all together as close as we can? Now, the real ones know. I know you guys are out there. That you don't use that main staircase. Don't tell them but, which one. Though. But you don't tell um, them. there's got to be a better, better way to do it. They're alternative variants. All right. Steven Stamkos. Maybe my favorite player of all time. 
But I want you to know to that once he retires and gets a little bit older, we are definitely going to mistake him for the Keebler elf. <laughs> Alex Killorn. I think we've all brought up old killer <laughs> last year of his contract. Um, you know, my only question for killer is what the hell happened to doc talk that died faster than your game in the 2022 postseason. <laughs> all right. You guys have heard this one before, but I have to just bring it up again. When you win the Stanley cup, do not close all the bars outside, <laughs> including the Cigar City place, the including the, the cantina. Why? Why are we closing those an hour after the game stops, after we've won a Stanley Cup or even any playoff series? We need to fix that. Uh, even, even fans from other cities were like, oh, nothing goes on in that city. That's my Russian or uh, I guess it's Canadian. supposed to be a Montreal That's Canadian accent. <laughs> All right, John Cooper. He's the best coach in the business, but does anyone ever notice that he is the wish.com version of Michael Keaton? <laughs> Young Michael Keaton. Yes. All right, finally, actually, no, not, not yet, but we need some support for this podcast. Gosh darn it. There's been two people slash groups affiliated with the team who have actually wanted to come on the show and said they've got to run it by the team. So we message the team in the context that they've given us and we've got crickets. Hey, why don't you support a local podcast team? That's all we're asking for. Uh, we're just asking for somebody to come on the show with us. So We've been supporting the team for a long time. How about you support us back? And maybe I just need to talk to JBB, who you can't say many bad things to, except you got to remind him every once in a while to stick to the Iser plan because it worked. And also, where is We the Thunder's eight-year extension? That's what I really want to know is when are we getting the eight-year extension? <laughs> <laughs>